I want to be totally honest with you. I'm not a fan of personal attacks on other creators. Now, oftentimes they frustrate me enough where I just say, screw it and let loose. But I don't make such a staple of my content. I may mess around with our members behind the scenes, say a little things here and there, but that don't, I don't try to make that a staple of our public content here. This time though, I may not necessarily be making an exception but we're getting eerily close this time around only because we have to address these extreme levels of quote unquote copium hitting some of these fanboys hard. I just heard an Xbox fanboy claim that Xbox games generally, now sit down for this, sell better than PlayStation games. Now, don't get me wrong. There are a couple of juggernauts via the ABK portfolio that they just acquired. But generally speaking, I beg to differ. Or am I the one who's lost here? We tackle all this on the next installment of The Spiel, our gaming hot topic video series. Join us here for this one. Don't go anywhere because we're going to have to come. We're going to have to have a coming to Jesus speech here. Let's get into this one. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K of Hard Knock Digital Culture. Cloud Dosage and MM2K Gaming back again with another episode of The Spill. This is where we address the latest hot topic, button, button gaming, issue in gaming. And yeah, man, oh man, as you can see, I'm all tripped up word-wise because this one confused me but i took some time to think it out and i think we can address this properly but before we get into all that do us a huge favor please hit that like button hit that subscribe button and rock those bells for notifications please uh so you know when we're dropping these doses this one is called xbox fanboys ridiculous claim about playstation all right so here's the backdrop of this story um, and in order for you to understand it, let, let's let's provide the backdrop. Um, so there's a rumor. Um, it's a very, I, I guess it's being looked at as a very strong rumor that um, Forza Horizon 5 is coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. That's the next game that's being ported over. Now, the reason why I'm focusing on rumor is because we're also hearing other rumors from people that have the inside track to some things Xbox that, hey, it's not Forza Horizon 5. It's another uh, big game. Let me, let me show you guys this. Here, let's do this. So this is a tweet that came from Lumberjack RY. Um, and it's, trust me, this isn't the only source here. I know uh, Rithian has been, you know, the, the, the talk of many conversations about information that did not pan out as being stated. But no, this is not the source of this information. This is just one of people, many people that have been claiming this. Apparently what happened was um, Am one of the Amazon, was it Amazon UK or Amazon France? Here, Oh, it says it right here. Amazon UK has accidentally early listed the Xbox Game Studios title Forza Horizon 5 by Playground Games for both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So if all this is accurate, um, this is going to be uh, a barn burner for many. Um, shout out to Porter Rock. And a lot of you that follow my content, you guys know that me and Porter Rock have gone from being friendly adversaries to he's someone that whose gaming take I, I really opine on and listen to when it comes to all this stuff. Um, he was on this channel the other day. And if you haven't seen it, it's probably because you're not a member. We, we have a new series that's for our members. It's called uh, Lobby Talk, where we're talking to some of the, the moves and makers in the gaming industry. We, we got a conversation um, with not only Porter Rock, but King Thrash, Tim Dog is coming in. We're, we're definitely getting people that are more 
open and more uh, um, favorable to Xbox as well. We're, 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 we're going all over the community with this one. So definitely check that out. Shameless plug if you're not listening to that or if you're not part of the members um, community already. That being said, um, we talked to Porter Rock about this yesterday and as it was breaking. Shout out to Cold Blood. He, he let us know during the interview. And Porter Rock said something very interesting. He said, this one right here is different from all the other ports like it would even be it would have a level of significance even different from halo why because this is the first game that's porting over that um xbox nest xbox you know created the studio i believe and 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 made from the ground up now i don't know how much that would apply to sea of thieves i don't know if playground games was built from the ground up from xbox uh, at xbox or whatever but this has a significance greater than halo just for the simple fact that um you know this is xbox's like baby i i know halo was their flagship but this is their baby like they 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 nurtured this game from the ground up you know what i'm saying and even though sea of thieves has seen a lot of traction and it's seeing success forza um is is a lot more critically acclaimed than sea of thieves even if there is similarities on, on how they were developed and stuff like that um you know forza has always across the board has always been looked at from the community even those that troll xbox is like uh a top tier game and to see that this top tier series go over to uh playstation that's that's a mighty significant action in regards to games that they're deciding to port over there it's like so in in so many words porter rock was like yeah if forza's going over there that's the whole damn slate right (laughs) so you know very interesting take on that um I, I do think it's it's a very significant thing to see this go over there if these rumors are true, right? And again, I said this is a barn burner. So people heard this, right? That are, you know, more favorable towards Xbox and they've been having a bevy of different takes on this. Some very unfavorable, some very bitter. Like, all you got to do is just go check out uh, Kid Smooth's thread or his wall. <laughs> just check out his latest tweet on that just to see what I'm talking about. Yeah, a lot of people on the pro Xbox side are not happy about this. Not everybody is upset, but a lot of people aren't happy. Um, This also, while we were talking about it with our members, this also was being talked about on a show that uh fonzarelli uh formerly of rdx podcast and he's been on brap like fonzarelli's been doing youtube content longer than i have um you know uh, he's he has a show i believe it's called game on daily i think it is i could be wrong um but him and someone by the name of hargeet i'm not that familiar with hargeet I see them here and there in different clips, but I'm not really familiar with Hargeet or, the, or or his takes on gaming. They were discussing this news as it was being rolled out, right? Um, and as they were doing so, um, there was a very interesting take that they had. Uh, I'm going to take you over to this tweet. We're going to talk about it on the back end, but I want you guys to listen to the take here because it's better that you listen to it and we try to decipher it on the back end so here we go hargeet fonzarelli talking about potential of forza going over xbox games going over and more importantly so the state of playstation games versus xbox games here we go i and i just said this at booms right like a few hours ago uh i look at this differently now like essentially they're going to put their games everywhere. You can just accept that. Mm-hmm. And what what that does mean is they're going to expand. Uh, so the the differentiator is they want to make more money. And if it's not going to be a platform play, it's going to be a games play. Yeah. Right. So they're going to go get more games. And when you're that big a company, they're always looking for how to make more, 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 more. So they're going to go f- find the next big game that they can buy. There's only a handful, right? The big handful of games. There's EA, there's Take-Two, there's Epic. 
Yeah, those are going to be targets. I don't want them to but buy anything right now. I, I want them to just work on games that they have with the studios well, they going. have now. That's it. Like I think I, I, I think I think they're going to. You think they're going to keep expanding? Their, their... What 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 business says I want to stop expanding? Um, a business that's not successful with what they have currently. How are they not successful? They haven't successfully put out big games consistently yet. I want the their games, games sell more uh, than PlayStation Fable. games. They're sell, I, I'm their talking games about make more than PlayStation games. Yeah, but I'm talking. They, they you asked me what titles. games. You asked me what games. I'm talking about Fable, Indiana Jones. Those things are big Those games are for along. them. Um, but, well, but, but they okay, haven't okay, produced so it yet. And, and then we have came out. We're going to ignore that that Psychonauts came out. We're going to ignore that Halo came out. That yeah, Starfield but came out. We're going to ignore we the need consistency. We're going to ignore that. I can I know, keep we going. Need, we like, need we need consistency, um, yeah, but we need consistency with them. They have more consistency than PlayStation. I'm sorry, but that's just a fact. People just keep overlooking it. PlayStation had two years this generation where they had shit. 2021, they had shit. 2024, they, had they have games. shit. They, they, had, they, no, they did have games, they even had though they were remakes. Clank. They had remakes. They had re I'm not counting remakes. Fuck but, remakes. Uh, but, no, 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 but no. We're they not were, about they were successful. I don't regardless. care about remakes. Because if you want to talk about remakes, then in 2022, they had remakes too. I don't care about remakes. Xbox put out remakes. I don't care about remakes. Okay. <laughs> Let's make sure we got all of our audio back in the right place so you heard it. Um, the overall theme from Hargeet was that um xbox games sell better you guys heard that and you know besides some remakes or whatever um where i don't even know where remakes came into the fold i mean we had horizon forbidden west we had horizon i mean we had uh god of war um you know what I'm saying? Uh, last year we had Final Fantasy 16 that came out on the on the PlayStation. Um, the, you know, th these are games that charted, that did well, that helped push units. Marvel Spider-Man 2 for crying out loud, that's still charted. Like I'll get to that point later. You know what I'm saying? And then we're not even talking about the slew of games that we have this year. But he's saying this in 2024, right? He's saying this in 2024 that they are doing better. So what I want to do is being that he's saying this in 2024 and shout out to Jamie's act for the clip. Let's examine 2024. Now, before we examine 2024, I do want to say this as we're examining the facts. I do want to be abundantly clear here that yes, no doubt xbox has a few abk games that are financial juggernauts and they will be with every release you know most notably and, and these are abk games the most notably call of duty you know which is traditionally the best-selling game in the world annually and then we got um world of warcraft that that that's kicking butt um you know th then there's minecraft minecraft definitely cannot be slept on one of the biggest games out there um ever of all time and then Sea of Thieves, you know, um, did well just generally on PlayStation. I mean, on on PC, and you know, did numbers on Xbox. Was was doing some nominal numbers on Xbox, and then it got released over on PlayStation. And then all of a sudden, it just blew up all over again. But generally, this take from Hargeet is a gross misrepresentation. Forget the games that I mentioned closer to launch or God of War and Horizon, which the series now is like what it th sold 30 million just from the two games. Forget that. Let's just examine 2024 so far via the largest region in console gaming. And we're going to do that via NPD. All right. So let, let, let's just let's just cut out the fat and deal with NPD. This is courtesy of Matt Piscatella of Sakana, who's doing the monthly Sakana. I, I still call it NPD for nostalgia region reasons. Let's stick with the nostalgia because apparently our good friend Hargeet cannot get over it. He still thinks that this is the Xbox 360 days. All right. 
what you're looking at is you're looking at a chart that is for North America. Again, the largest console region in the world. If Xbox wants to have a chance competitively, then its content needs to dominate in this region. We know this from the 360 era. So regardless, if they want to put their stuff on, on cloud, toasters, Pez dispense, it doesn't matter. If it's not dominating charts like this, then they're not doing better generally than PlayStation. So Hargeet said that the Xbox games are selling better than PlayStation. So let's look at this, this chart, which represents year to date from January of 2024 to June of 2024. It's the most recent date that we have of activity in North America, video game wise to date. From January all the way to the end of June, these are the Xbox games versus the PlayStation games. And for the sake of this discussion i'm going to include games whether they're multi-plat or not but when we describe who has more multi-plat games versus the number of games that even chart here hargeet's argument starts to fall apart you'll soon see first let's start with xbox since january 2024 all the way through june 2024 these are the games that Xbox has on this chart. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 at number two. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. Minecraft at number 16. Right under that is Sea of Thieves at number 17. That is it. Okay, three games, not bad. Three games, but that is it. All three games are multi-plat, meaning they're on Xbox, but they're on PlayStation as well. That's very important. Take note of that. Now let's look at the PlayStation games. From year to date, January to end of de uh, date, June 2024. Let's see how many PlayStation games are on here. Hell Divers 2, which happens to be number one. Look at that. MLB The Show, which is number four. Uh, let's keep going. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, right? Oh, they didn't make the game. No, no. They funded the game. It is only available on the PlayStation Marketplace. The lifespan, the success of this game is totally up to PlayStation and its marketplace. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is number six. What's next? We got Marvel Spider-Man 2, which came out last year. Six, uh, it's 18th. Stellar Blade is 19th. And Rise of the Ronin is 20th. Those are six PlayStation titles, exclusive or multi-plat, that are on this chart. Okay, so let's, let, let's have a conversation. That right there, my friends, is a ratio of three to six. There are three games that Xbox has curated or, or developed on this chart versus the six from PlayStation that they have curated or co-developed or whatever on this chart. That therefore renders Hargeet's argument null and void. The problem is that, let, let's look back at this chart. The thing that's more astounding is only two out of the six games, no, no, I'll start it this way. Three of these games, the, the three games that are from Xbox,
or multiplat. And we know Call of Duty for one is bolstered by PlayStation. PlayStation is the is the biggest place where Call of Duty is sold when you look at platforms, right? It's not even Xbox, their, their owner. <gasps> Let's look at uh, Minecraft. Minecraft is huge on PC, right? Okay. And then let's look at what's the other game. My, sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves is only charting again. Why? Because it's on PlayStation. It, 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 it like before it was like 190 second before they released it on PlayStation. Right? Okay. Only two of the six games that have been developed or curated from PlayStation. Only two of them are multi -plat. That means the other four games are on here solely due to the PlayStation 5 market. Not PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. Rise of the Ronin, Stellar Blade, Marvel Spider-Man 2, and, and, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. All four of those games are only available on the PlayStation 5, not 4, PlayStation 5 marketplace. And they're up here. Year-to-date activity. All right. So, being that we have that reality. Why did he... Why was this even said? And, 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 and thinking about how I was going to respond to this, I, I had a real hard time trying to understand this myself i mean i felt compelled to respond but i didn't understand how i would take this um without going through the normal tropes copium salty fanboy all that stuff but i wanted to go beyond the typical gaming incel banter to decipher this one so your other hosts on this channel helped me do that cold blood sensei we talked about this in in our member stream again you're missing out on so much great content if you're not a member we talked about this earlier and it was it, it was a, it was an adjoining conversation i was having with cold blood that helped me understand the crux of why insane stuff like this is being said um cold blood had shared and was just being authentic about in his personal opinion why he was not the biggest fan of the 360 and because he wasn't the biggest fan of the xbox 360 he didn't get the allure of the game see like in, in in our interviews that we've done with with porter rock and king thrash they they gave props to the 360 they said hey look we understand you know in the early days of the xbox one generation why a lot of you guys were bamboozled you were like hey you already had the blueprint to success we, we just expect you to um you know expand on it okay you had a slip up at the beginning at launch because of tv 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 but you you guys are going to regroup and just go back to the blueprint we get what you guys thought that at first but then it just be started becoming self-evident that they were throwing away that playbook altogether now even though we were having that conversation and cold blood felt like he couldn't relate there's nothing wrong with that there were different types of gamers and in that vein i did state to cold blood that we often forget there's different demographics of gamer types right um and the reason the og in the 360 xbox gathered so much fanfare is it spoke to a type of gamer who felt abandoned on console around that time what does this got to do with hargeet said just bear with me i'm getting there see gamers like myself and 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 most likely hargeet we didn't grow up on final fantasy 7 or resident evil or tomb raider a lot of us had journeyed to pc gaming in the advent of the playstation because a lot of us didn't connect to the playstation so we went to pc gaming we were playing doom and other games i, I particularly went to tandy and started playing the sierra games games like um police quest and king's quest and um you know uh pirates and, and stuff like that right so we kind of like separated ourselves from consoles during the, the rise of the playstation um and in those places open world games and shooting shooter experiences were the dominant you know pools over there so when xbox came out and it brought those experience to the plug and play um setup of the console we felt quote unquote welcome back 
that was a big deal for us because a lot of us had abandoned the console um, and felt welcome back to it. That was huge. And a lot of gamers like me, who at the time were at my 30s, and if you know the average game of the game uh, of the average gamer age, it's within the mid 30s. Like we spoke of the day, we ruled the day. We we were the ones that um that decided which was which was the bees G's during that area, right? And so we were in love with the 360, and that's why the 360 had such a dominant stance during that area. It was a big deal for us. And it was a big nostalgic time as we reflect back on it. So much so, some of us, possibly our good friend Hargeet, can't let it go. All right, let's be frank. Let's not dance around this anymore. And this is coming from someone who could completely relate to the nostalgia. The Xbox you created that experience that spoke to many of us is long gone. This regime under Phil Spencer and Satya Nadella may offer some of the same experiences, but they lack the innovation and quality control to bring it back to where it was during that time that we fell in love with the Xbox platform. There just isn't a real passion to wow gamers at Xbox versus simply supplying them a bundle of something. That's not the Xbox that I, no, no, no. That's not the Xbox that we fell in love with. Many gamers like Hargeet and others just cannot let it go. They can't let that nostalgia ride, the nostalgia ride. They went from being optimistic that Xbox will turn it back to form and just come out better to now defending any and everything they actually despised as a gamer back then, remember? Oh, Xbox is coming out with 60 frames per second and PlayStation looks like they're dropping the ball. I can't game in anything less than 60 frames per second. Uh, we're dropping Redfall and, and Star for the 30 frames per second. Actually, 30 frames per second is more cinematic. Oh, we don't mind it. And the list goes on and on and on. I could sit here, like I said, and tear people that think like Hargeet to shreds. Believe you me, it would be light work. But no, not this time. I'm, I, I want to extend an olive branch towards acceptance. Here's my message to those that think like what you just heard earlier in this episode. Come home, John Rambo. The war is over. When it comes to Xbox, I get it. It was good while it lasted, but it lasts no more. That's it from your boy. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below because like I always say, who cares what I think. But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. They will lead you to, again, or not digital culture, cloud dosage in here, MM2K Gaming. With that said, peace. Have a wonderful, wonderful gaming.